Good morning and welcome to Quilt Chat. It's so lovely to have you with us here today. It's another gorgeous spring day in Paducah. It is a beautiful day in Paducah and I wonder what it's like in Ireland. That's where Bonnie is. That's where Bonnie is. She so, ran off to Ireland. Yes, we, we hope to hear a lot of good stories from her when she gets back. Yes. And you know, Anne, there's an elephant in the room. There is definitely an elephant in the I room. I think we and need to discuss this. We need to discuss it. <laughs> so this is the elephant in the room. Her name is Cleopatra. She is by Linda Crouch McCready of Boone Creek, Indiana. And this is her lovely elephant that will be featured in the next quilt art engagement calendar. Right. For 2020. 2020. Right. Oh, I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, the, the 2019 engagement calendar is already for yes, sale. Yes, it's so already out. That's why I just realized this is moving right along. <laughs> but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous example of complementary colors playing mm -hmm. well together, isn't it? The it purple does. and orange is just really Very nice. pops. Very He's nice. a sweet little, she's a sweet little elephant. Well, we're pretty excited uh, because around here, you know how magazines get done way early. Well, we've just uploaded the July issue of AQ and we're going to be featuring some really nice quilts and some exciting things. But for right now, I wanna talk just for a second about the May issue which is, uh, if you are a member of AQS, you will have this issue already. In this issue, we have an article about Celebration, oh, that's so which beautiful. is a quilt by Gail Garber, quilted by Chris Vieira. And Stunning. you can read a lot of details about it um, in the magazine, but we're gonna talk just a little bit about some of the things that were really awesome about this quilt. The intense hand dyed fabrics were just incredible. The, the use of the hand dyes. Uh, she had an original drawing, which really didn't end up being exactly her final quilt. It was uh, something that evolved along the way, as did Chris's stitching. Chris said she started knowing by knowing where some of the main elements would be, and then she just took it intuitively from oh. there. She is one uh, among many other people who I always hear the, the comment, the quilt talks to me. Yes, so yes, they, they, they let, the, let the quilt uh, express what it needs to express. You'll see on here lots of circles. This was Gail's first time using Karen K. Buckley perfect circles. That Karen K. Buckley gets yeah, around. She does and she has, She's just so perfect. She has some amazing <laughs> products. Uh, Gail said she really, really loved the per perfect circles. They are fabulous. I think we have those for sale, don't we? We and sure shop, do at shopaqs.com. Uh, Gail said she hadn't done checkerboards before either, so uh, this was her first try at checkerboards. I, I think I she, did, she did okay. Did a pretty good job, yeah, and this was in shabby. the uh, the National Quilt Museum's Flying Geese Challenge. Oh, wonderful! I think that was last year. Well, there's certainly a lot of geese flying around. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there are a lot yeah, in there. You're going to have the diagram for. Oh, we do. We have a special treat. Yes. So if you're watching Quilt Chat today, you will notice in the description there's this wonderful little link for a free coloring page that Gail Garber was so gracious to give us to give to you. So and you so. can you can see where she started for this quilt. Yes, and you maybe you in. can uh, do some some coloring and drawing of your own with your own intense colors yes. or not so intense, whatever right. you want to use. Um, we hope you will enjoy that. Yes. Um, we have on the table here, uh, we were, we've been talking a lot about traveling with quilting this summer. Oh, you know, it's the time for it. Everybody hits the road and goes on vacation, but so you want something you can pick up and take with you for all those hurry wait moments. Absolutely. And, yes. And so this is Cheryl our, C's. Cheryl C's quilt scroll, which makes traveling great. And it looks like you've loaded it up with a lot of fun things to do. I did. Um, what I have loaded it up with right now is my latest uh, thing that I'm pretty excited about, and that is the Brimfield Awakening block. Oh. Uh, it is a block um, Kim and Nisha from Brimfield Awakening found this block at a, at a uh, I think it was a flea market type of situation. You're going to find out wonderful? more about that whenever uh, you get the September issue of AQ oh, because I've been talking. Oh, then don't tell all the secrets. No, I'm not telling any <laughs> secrets really, but isn't it a cool block? It is amazing. It's, it's 
for English paper piecing, um, this is uh, right here. Maybe we can show this is the little packet of paper pieces that I used from paperpieces.com. They are uh, wonderful. To, to put this together. So oh, it's really cool. it's really a neat block. Now I was wondering though, Betsy, can you tell me what you think? Because I'm not always great with colors. Do you think the blue is good? Because see, on this kind of board, we can just play. We, we sure could. could. Take you could take away, different things away and add things and in. And we can change things around. I really like the blue. I, I love your color selection. It's just so pretty. The florals are so soft and yeah, that was kind of it's it's an old fashioned block actually. Yeah. It's one that was around in the not the last century, but the one before. Just and a little before my time. The Brimfield Bonnie's Awakening time. girls. No, no, no. We're She's not, not here to get after me. No. I didn't say that, Bonnie. I might have, Bonnie. <laughs> she might have. Oh my goodness. Um, I also laid out a few pieces of another project oh, that I've fine. got going on, and that's a storm at sea. Uh, that was from um, the Flynn Company. The I would like to say something to our viewers. Anyone that wants to complain about my teeny tiny pattern pieces for our countdowns mm -hmm. needs to shush. Look at Anne's teeny tiny pieces. <laughs> and that's, I tried doing this. This is my uh, one and only block that I have done of this, and I did it by hand. It's so teeny tiny. And it was tiny. really hard to do. I need hints. If it's anybody has hints teeny, on how to do tiny. tiniest, tiniest little blocks, and get the needle through. So were you English paper piecing this? Or no, just hand this piecing? was just hand piecing. Okay. Yeah. But this is still a really great, great device for the carrying on, you know, carrying around and taking with you. Right. And um, we had a have an article this week in On Point about block assembly. And so you can find that over at aqsblog.com. And we talked about kind of how to dissect that block and get those units out so you can find where everything goes. Right. And then we showed some great ways that you could have little layouts in case you don't have a wonderful design wall, you can access it that way. But this is cool because it has top secret stuff. So, well, this, for one thing, you can use it, you can hang by this hanger. Yes. And use it actually as a design wall or take it to a class and show it as a, you know, your, your design so cool. in progress. Or if you're just working on something in your living room and you want to keep it laid out and don't want to have to be picking up and putting it down every time you can just roll it up on this and take it on vacation and everything stays in the exact same spot right so they don't, I don't get jumbled out i don't know surprise. if you want to take it to the beach because i don't think sand would be oh. real good on this but well, you know in the in the hotel would be okay the hotel would and be maybe okay if you're if you're careful I don't know. But this is a really, <laughs> this is a nice soft it is beautiful. surface that's really nice. And it seems like it just lasts forever. So you can do that with the, um, with the, with the handle part, you can hang it, hang it, but you can also, when you roll it up, see how neatly that rolls together? Oh my goodness. So those pieces are going to be right there in place. That's fantastic. It has Velcro. And it just grabs it. I love it that. Grabs. Now, the trick is, well, I think I didn't really do it very tightly but the trick is the interior of this roll is empty it's a tube it's hollow so i have thread oh my goodness i have a glue pen and another glue thing here i have a little pair oh, of look clippers at you go. another spool of thread any snacks N no, no but uh, no I chocolate? Think you could easily put a bag of M&Ms. You could just tuck it right in there. That's perfect. I think. And one of the really cool things that I thought this has that I didn't realize. Do you see this hole in the I middle? see the hole. There's what do you think hole. the hole is for? There is purpose for this hole. I have the sand to escape from. Well, that, that would be <laughs> another good know. thing. Whenever you put your thread in, <gasps> run your thread oh. through that little hole. And you don't even have to mess with that. You don't have to go chase it when it goes right. zooming off at the airport across the floor. Right. You don't. And have if to chase you're it. if you're working uh, in your car, for instance, right? just have this down beside you. Oh, that's wonderful. While you've got some pieces in your lap. Because my thread always goes to the very mm -hmm. center of the car seat under me. Right. So I cannot reach it. So you can put <laughs> little scissors. You can put anything. Oh, that's now. Terrible. Whenever I do English paper piecing, I usually use a glue stick. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also use uh, oh. Roxanne's glue based it. Mm. Love, 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 do you? Love. Well, you would probably really love this. This oh, is Roxanne glue based it dip and dab. Oh, it looks like it's eyelash glue. A, well, open it up and see what you oh, think. Let's see. 
It looks, it comes it's out kind of like, <gasps> like a lip gloss. Oh, it is. Wand. We're not going to put it on that. No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We can't stick our lips together right no, now. That wouldn't not be right now. But for the tiny oh, little pieces. Oh, I love pieces, it. Oh, some, that's perfect. Sometimes in... Um, Oh, this would be so fun because I always get my fingers so sticky because I, I do squirt it on my finger and like dab. dab. It. I'm yeah, a, I do, yeah. because it it holds so tight for just a tiny tiny little bit of glue, right. and then it'll either pull apart or you can just release it with just a tiny bit of spit, just gone, oh. <laughs> gone. Well, good to know. I love it. Good to know. But this is uh, I, it's really handy for tiny little English paper piecing pieces. Oh, that's wonderful. I've been working on a. A Millefiori quilt that has those teeny tiny, tiny little triangles. More teeny and, tiny. Uh, it's very helpful. So, wow, that is that's, cool. That's the stuff. Well, this I is know. quite the cool contraption. Oh, then it has and all then, the things in it. Oh, more. You know, well, and there's more. <laughs> this is their handle. Then. Oh, that's. Wonderful. I was trying to figure out how you how you hook this, you know, over your shoulder that or whatever so with cool. the longer part. But I realized that you just tuck it out of the top, and it's kind of like an umbrella. Oh, that's wonderful. Cool product. We have lots of cool products. We do. Um, at Shop AQS, we Me have too. a lot of cute products. We're trying to get very products. special things. Uh, fabulous finds uh, in AQ Magazine is yes. always. Uh, Usually we're showing off the new stuff. Find some new things, and it's I'm going to cool. be at market next week. I'm going to be looking for some new products. So. Okay. Can't wait. That'll be very exciting. Nothing like products, right? Oh! They're, all, they're exciting. All those gadgets <laughs> and gizmos for quilting is so fun. It always, it's fun to start a new adventure with one too. Mm -hmm. yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been lovely talking with you and showing you all of our fun things. We hope you have a lovely week and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.